Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are back in Overlook Bay, as you can see. Um, if you're curious, this is the house that I designed on stream for like a Valentine's Day build, so I will leave that in the eye in the corner. But anyways, guys, I am really excited because today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my penthouse apartment that took me about a week or something to design and put together. And I'm really excited and proud of how it turned out. So yeah, um, this is my tiny home right now. So let's go ahead and go to my penthouse apartment. I've been kind of keeping it a secret because I don't want anybody to see before this tour. I actually ended up showing a few of my friends because I just could not like keep it a secret anymore. And that's why I'm recording this video today because oh my gosh, oh, it was like flying for a second. So the room that we're in right now, we're actually in the foyer. So this is what the foyer looks like. I absolutely love it. This is actually the first room that I worked on. And right when we walk in, we are greeted with this huge donut because we are the donut squad. So of course I had to put like donuts all over my house. And for this house, I really wanted to go for like pastels, but still like a very colorful theme just because I love colors. Spring is right around the corner so I wanted to incorporate a lot of colors, a lot of pastels, soft colors and whatnot. And the funny thing is that when I put down these um, picture frames, these picture frames actually did not have pictures in them before. So that's why it looks like this right now. Um, later on, I might actually end up just putting like a white photo in there just to bring back what I had originally. But in these corners, I did like the little platform thing that you guys saw in my Valentine's Day build. And I ended up putting the wall slant to like this just to give it some dimension and stuff we just have my little candy cane i don't even know like lollipop wall yeah this is a lollipop wall with my giant h right here i had to add a giant h and then right here we have the giant version of my rainbow kind of like pet station i guess you can say um we have two beds we have a pet bowl there and then also a bath so that's just like the huge version and then on the ceiling we have snow globes and i ended up covering them with like these cylinder shapes that you can find in the shape section and i actually got this idea from dr kong fu lama so thank you for that i really like how it just adds like the sprinkles effect in your house it's just super cute so if we go this way over here this is the pool room now for this room i wasn't really sure what to do um i don't want marshmallow to fall in the pool so i'm going to carry her but over here we just have a towel rack and then also a pet bath we have some sitting areas um i made these planters out of like the medium slabs from the wall section and then i just added this area over here this is probably not the nicest part of my apartment tour not gonna lie um i wasn't really sure what to do with this area but we just have some pet beds we also have like the hanging chair um hack and then just another sitting area and then inside of the pool i did put a bed in the pool like this so it's kind of like one of those like pool floaties that you can just lay down like that and then this one right here is actually made out of the ice cubes in the Christmas section and the reason why I wanted to try this out and make like a little floaty type of thing is because it's like kind of see-through and transparent so that's kind of why I did that and then over here we have some pool noodles out of like the streamers that you can find in decor and then also this shape right here that is like a little pool ball I got the idea from Dr. Kung Fu Lama again and then right here we have another swing area um, with like the snow globes at the top again and then this is kind of like introducing us to like the indoor like pet station yard um, I actually ended up getting this part right here like this little pet um, what would you call this like a little pet playground or something I actually ended up finding a adopt me build that was like this So I will put the picture on the screen right here of the thumbnail But that's basically where I got the inspiration from this part of the um, Pet playground and then of course I did like the little backdrop with like a Sun and clouds and then down here I ended up making my own little like play yard I guess you can say this is actually a fountain and I wasn't sure what to do with like the rest of the fountain so I just added these shapes to kind of look like bubbles and stuff it is kind of like a floating statue and also 
This fountain right here is actually usable. So you can actually put your pets in the bathtubs if they need to. We have a bunch of pet beds. We have some pet bowls in case you wanted to feed your pets and stuff, some pet toys. And we also have like a little DIY hanging bed right here as well, hanging from the top of the um, pet station or like the pet playground right there. Oh my gosh, Marshall, I'm so sorry. I'm not doing your needs right now. We're doing a video tour. And then right here we have our little toy box. I did like this little DIY tree to kind of fill up the space because it was kind of empty. It's kind of weird because you actually see a tree inside of the apartment growing. I know it's kind of weird, but we're gonna go with it. And then right here we have like a ball pit like I did in my hacks video. I try to incorporate all of my hacks and now that I think of it, there's actually one that I have still not done yet. I ended up doing it upstairs and then I ended up moving it and I actually have not completed that now. So um, in this tour, um, you'll notice that there are some rooms that are not completed. For example, my balcony and stuff. And the reason is because I really want to do like a building live stream again of like some rooms in this house so this is the kitchen right here and I wanted to go for like a candy kind of themed kitchen this kitchen is very very big over here we have two stoves we have two um, fridges right here as well and then this is kind of our little lolly pop wall again and then we have an island counter with um, like some space like bar stools and stuff so you can eat your dinner and then we also have a sink right here so yeah that is the kitchen um, we have a little sitting area over here as well so moving on to the dining room this is the dining room right here I actually do not know what's going on with like the food on the table to be honest with you guys I kind of just put shapes down and stuff like that to try to make something um, but yeah this is the dining room we have a donut back there and then we have some like wall pillars as you can see right here in fact I think I'm gonna put marshmallow away for the rest of the tour because she has a lot of needs and we don't need the UI blocking the rest of the tour so yeah and then this right here is a water fountain and I ended up instead of using like those light bars I just ended up using the shapes to kind of just do like a cleaner look and if you guys didn't know this is actually a towel holder and it looks like it's like spitting out water into like the fountain and stuff so yeah we have a little fountain right there and honestly guys this is probably like the perfect time to show you guys my living room because I have so much lighting going on in my living room so this is my living room I did a lot of ceiling detailing and I will tell you this kind of took me forever to kind of figure out how to do because some shapes wouldn't be placed they didn't want to be placed nicely so I had to kind of just figure that out and um, kind of just I guess you can say like frame this entire ceiling and stuff so this is my living room we have a little planter divider right here because if I didn't have that it'd be like a lot of space right here so that is that and then we also have like pet beds on each side and then over here these are actually placemats that I placed to put underneath the candles and the vase and then of course we have our TV our fireplace our lightings and then also like our bookshelves right here to kind of fill up this area and then like of course like the different slabs and walls that were used this is actually a table up here but I ended up using it as like a lighting fixture so like there's a lighting fixture underneath it and then I just put like this space kind of thing on top of it and then I added stars to kind of just add some dimension and it's kind of cool because like the stars are like floating around it like that so yeah that is my living room I'm honestly so proud of how this turned out honestly I think this is probably my favorite room because I ended up doing like the ceiling detail and stuff a lot of shapes were used in this apartment tour so if we go over here this is actually my um, desk area as you can see we have some dual monitors this is my little desk and I have like some trinkets up there and then on the wall right here I did like this rainbow type of thing because I wasn't really sure what to do with this extra space so I wanted to do like some sort of like picture type of thing as you can see and then of course I did my little platform thing right here that I like to do in every corner of my house so I actually ended up doing Doing a door right here because this is a bathroom and then of course we're when we're in the bathroom we don't want anybody to see us so <laughs> I ended up just making a door right here um, for this I just use like the small wall and then of course like a snowball for like the door handle and then right here is kind of just like a bookshelf and stuff 
Now my room, I actually have not redecorated my room just yet. This is still my old room and I really want to do a video where I redecorate it or maybe I'll do like a live stream as well. And I really want to do the ceiling like frame in this room as well to kind of just make it more grand. This is the bathroom. Nothing's changed in these two rooms just because I feel like it would have been a lot. So nothing too special on those, but I will be doing a video on those soon. So moving up to like the stairs area, um, I don't think we're, we can put picture frames or like pictures in these picture frames just yet but I just have this here anyways because once we can put pictures I'm going to put a bunch of pictures in here and whenever I take screenies with you guys I want to be able to put them in these picture frames and kind of just do like a big entire like photo wall so like that's why this kind of area is a little like empty because I really want to fill this area up with like photo walls and screenshots with all of you guys I think that would be so cute because I love just like doing that and pause Possibly I'll do like some of your fan art too. Um, I love fan art and stuff. So when we walk up the stairs, um, this is actually a glitch room right here. And I ended up getting like this door idea from Dr. Kung Fu Lama again from her gingerbread house. And this is actually a separate room right here. So if we glitch in like this, I ended up having to build this room with like different um, walls and stuff. This honestly could have been my bedroom, but I really wanted the walk-in bathroom to my bedroom. So that's why I still have to my other one. But basically this is kind of like a movie room it's kind of like all over the place um the colors are kind of just not matching so i apologize for that but basically over here is like a snack area i tried to create like a popcorn machine as like shapes it kind of looks like it kind of doesn't and then right here is like the coal bag but i wanted to make it look like giant popcorn so that's why we have that there of course we have our tv and then our oh, our whole entertainment system and then over here is just like a pet area i thought this would be really cute to add just for like our pets to chill or like take care of pet needs when we watch our movies and stuff so yeah and then also guys a lot of you guys said that you use these as like window hacks so I ended up doing that and I actually really like the way it looks it does look like windows and stuff so that's why I did that and then we just did another pastel rainbow and stuff I wasn't really sure what to do with this wall so this room is kind of just randomly put together so this is the upstairs and yes I did end up putting pillars upstairs just to make it more grand and there is hanging lights on the pillars as you can see so if we walk over over here this is kind of like a bakery I guess you can kind of say inside of my apartment um, I wasn't really sure what to do with this area I was actually going to do a library but then I thought about this idea and I really like it of course we have another donut right here um, this right here is actually supposed to be like a menu type of thing but since we don't have like any decor that can be like text or anything that's why it's kind of plain for right now so we have this little divider we have a little sitting area and then of course we have all of our little sweets and stuff um, this little cake hack I got from Dr. Kung Fu Lama as well. I just use like a cylinder and then a candle on the top like that. And then of course, like the bottom is a plate. So all credits go to her. Um, she kind of inspired a lot of things in my um, house, as you guys can see. So this area is actually kind of unfinished. Um, this was actually the rainbow bed that I built right there in my first build hacks video. But since I built something over there, I had to move it over here and I have not um, actually put it together again just yet. Yeah. so this is just chilling here nicely but anyways this is my little recording studio it's a little empty right here I thought about putting couches like facing this way kind of like an audience type of thing to kind of just fill up this area and then I thought about putting a wall but then again I like this open area so that I can like just zoom in and out if I need to so yeah this is my little recording area um, for the walls right here as you can see I did my little flower wall hack thing again but I put like um, cylinders between them just because i don't know like i don't like the way like some shapes that they're put into each other they kind of glitch like weirdly so that's kind of why i did that to add some space of course we have another h up there so yeah this is my little recording studio and then if we go over here guys there is actually a secret room right here that um i didn't have any space to add the doors because i actually built this pet station before i built that room so it's kind of like taking up the whole area basically this is a pet mood station we have like 
like up a little bubble bath down there, a bed, and then some bowls for like food and water. Um, this is kind of just like put together like this. I didn't really know what to do with this area, so I just did like some sort of like striped design. So moving into the glitch room that I built right here. So this room you guys actually saw on my Twitter and then possibly on the Over Lake Bay Discord server. This is a glitch room and this is actually my boyfriend's room. I wanted to make him a themed room in my apartment. I don't know. I just like doing that for people that are really close to me and stuff. My boyfriend is my absolute best friend and that's why I really wanted to like build a room for him. And his favorite color is green and I didn't know what colors look best with green so I just went with like black and white so over here he has like his little dual monitors he actually has this chair in real life he actually has two monitors as well and he loves like plants and stuff he actually wanted to put like plants on his desk but he hasn't yet done that so that's why i added these up here as like little succulent plants and stuff um he has like his little trinkets that he likes to fidget with sometimes plants right here a clock and then of course candy right here because he's always snacking at night whenever he's playing games even if it's like unhealthy foods like <laughs> that's just him so this is his room right here i really love this bed this is actually the bed from christmas but i actually really love it i love the, sh the shape and the size of it and then i kind of just do like this lighting fixture and stuff and then of course the little lighting windows that you guys suggested so yeah this is his room um a lot of people said this is like an alien bright neon room it kind of is so to get out i just have like a chair right here to like get out of that glitch room so moving on to down here now this is actually a i need to fix this right here but this is actually like an empty room so if you guys didn't know i actually had a role play family and i guess i still kind of do but i won't be doing any more role plays on my channel just because i'm kind of just like it's not really my thing anymore to do role plays like that and like have a bunch of people of course in parenthood role plays are a lot easier because the kids play as like ais or something or like ais play as the kids so i don't need to worry about doing role plays in there but um this is supposed to be like my son's room where i decorate his room but i think i'm going to make this room a guest room for like friends and stuff that they want to stay over um of course i need to fix some of these things because the walls are going through the wall as you can see and then this bathroom oh my gosh i need to fix this bathroom so bad i have not touched this room or the next room at all when i was building just because i really want to do videos like separate videos of like decorating these different rooms this is the um kids bathroom i guess you can say for now it'll be just like a regular bathroom probably a pet spa and then this is if you guys remember i did a video where i decorated my daughter's room my role play daughter's room a lot of you guys are asking me if i have like an ir in real life daughter and i don't <laughs> it was just for role play purposes but this is her room and since i won't be doing role plays anymore i didn't Think there was a purpose to have this room anymore so i might actually turn this into like a pet room and guys i do have some like pet role play video ideas in mind so stay tuned for those so yeah this is the um second room that i'm actually going to turn into a pet room and then if we go over here this is actually the doorway to the balcony um i actually first did it through like the windows right here i wanted to add a place where you can actually go out and that is going to be like right here now the balcony is not done yet as you can see but i am going to be saving this for another build live stream or video you guys seem to really like those so i'm going to save this for that and then up here this is where i did all of my build hacks as you can see um, I'm actually going to create a huge backyard area up here. We'll see how that turns out. And then also look at guys, my little DIY room. Oh my gosh, look at all these shapes just sticking out of my apartment. That's embarrassing. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for my apartment remodel, I guess you can say. You guys really loved how it looked like the first time. And I just felt like it was a very empty looking the first time. It was obviously like really cute. And I love the colors that I had going on, but I really wanted to fill up the space. And then as you can see right here we have halizzle yes so i ended up putting a room up there just to fill up that area but of course for this area right here i wanted to keep this kind of space to kind of just add to like the i don't know i guess the grand feeling of this penthouse and i don't know if you would call this like a mansion or something it feels like a mansion but it's not um so yeah that is pretty much it for my apartment build i did a lot of work into this guys a lot of hours and also guys while i was building i was aging up pets like crazy 
I still have all these other pets and legendaries that I want to fill up as well. So yeah, that is going to be it for um, this video, guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. If you have any other build hack suggestions or if you would like to show me your guys' apartment tours, I would love to see them in like photos and stuff. So send me photos on Twitter. Um, maybe I'll even um, tour them for episode two of touring your builds. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I love to have you part of our donut family. If you guys love my apartment build, then definitely give this video a big thumbs up because I work so hard and I uh, absolutely love it. So yeah, um, that is going to be the end of this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye!